Hello, YouTube friends. I'm doing a, a video today regarding the fossil Rachel satchel, which is very close, closely related to the fossil Sydney satchel. Um, and if you want to check out my video on the original Sydney, it should be in my listings. But um, I also have two versions of the Rachel satchel. And um, actually, I got the Rachel first, and then I decided I really wanted the Sydney, <laughs> which I bought off of eBay, and I got the fossil Rachel, um, the green one here, off of the fossil site. And then I liked it so much that I went back in and bought the canvas version of the Rachel as well. So today I'm going to be going over the Rachel satchel only. Um, if you want to see my Sydney satchel, I'll link it below. So just like the uh, Sydney, the dimensions are 10 inches long, 8 inches high, and 5.75 in width. And this one, I believe, was called Evergreen. Um, and when I bought it last year, I paid $107.50, which is kind of, I don't know, it seemed kind of steep to me. But um, right now it's sold out in this color. They do have black online, same bag, and it's 178 so it did go up quite a bit. Um, this one is not leather anywhere. It's all um, coated canvas with PVC and um, poly trim. And this one I spent 49 on. So I figured that was a pretty good deal um, at the time. And right now they have a similar one on sale for 138. So you might want to wait for a sale on those if those sound like kind of high prices for what you get. Um, but I'll just kind of go over them a little bit with you. And we'll start with the first one. I got the leather one. Um, so like I said, this is the evergreen color. It's beautiful. This pretty deep um, bluish green color. And the trim on this one, unlike my Sydney, is not leather. It's the polyvinyl. So your strap is not going to be leather. And these handles are probably not going to ever go down and be saggy. It's going to stay stiff. So some people like that. Some people don't. Um, I wish the whole thing was leather, especially when you're paying the normal price of 178 The whole bag should be leather, honestly. So unlike the Sydney, it does not have feet. You have the fossil logo at the bottom and the little key, which is cute. Um, this one is made a little differently than the Sydney as well. Instead of having two straps just sewn down, it kind of loops through here, folds up, and buttons. You can't remove them, but it's kind of a cute detail. You also have two nice deep pockets. I really liked that about the Rachel as well. The pockets are super deep. Oh, it's got a little receipt in there. <laughs> so it does have good points to it as well. Um, also, like the Sydney, it zips all the way down on the sides. The leather is not um, totally pebbled. It's kind of a weird, smooth pebble to it. Um, some people don't really like this leather because it doesn't seem to patina like the old Sydney did or get that sheen to it, but it's pretty nice. When I first got it, I did not like it. I thought, oh, it's not, it's kind of dull looking. Um, doesn't look like the leather I expect, but as I wore it in, it really did start getting more of a sheen to it, and I've conditioned it, so it is really pretty now. But when I first got it, I have to admit, I was pretty disappointed in the leather quality, but as you wear it, it really will soften. Um, I have this one stuffed, but it it's nice and squishy, so it'll probably, I've only had it a year, but it'll probably wear in very similar to the Sydney it probably won't get as squishy, but nearly. So that's nice. And it does keep its structure, which is good. It has really nice clasps on the side. I think they call it antique brass. And then you zip it down. I have it filled with a little pillow. I'll take that out. And you've just got one large 
open space and the way it zips all the way down you have the gussets on the side that open it you've got the diamond shaped fossil tag in the back you've got a very generously sized zip pocket inside in one wall and the other wall has two very nice sized slip pockets and that is it and this bag is so popular in the planner community just like the Sydney because it does zip all the way down so you can see everything in it at once which is really handy especially when you're trying to pack it with as much as it'll actually hold which is a lot so that is the beautiful Rachel in Evergreen I really do like this bag I tend to use it around Christmas time like I said I get hung up on the greens and the reds on my bags and start using them only in December I don't know why I do that I should use this year round it's beautiful so the other version is more of my summer bag and I saw this one pop up in an ad for something else and I was just absolutely obsessed with it I thought it was so cute it's supposed to be black and white and if you can see the little stripes are actually made of hearts which is really cute and it's just the coated canvas the PVC coated canvas um, it's supposed to be black I don't know why it gives me a navy vibe I I don't know maybe it's just the whole nautical look to it but it's super cute and I actually took off the key I have the key on my Sydney instead <laughs> so but it's the same construction as the Rachel watch out for how you store this one um, I had it just kind of packed in a bin and it got a little wrinkled so um, kind of like with any co co uh, excuse me coated canvas bag you want to make sure that it doesn't get wrinkled or you could set it outside in the sun for a little bit and they should pop out and it's the exact same construction you've got the two handles the nice deep pockets now this one is a lot more stiff and this one probably will not soften it has no leather on it anywhere even though these handles and the strap looks like leather it is not so this has no leather on it anywhere but that does mean that it's a really good choice for taking in the rain or bad weather and it's also a good choice for right now you can wipe it off nicely so I just have this one packed with an air pillow now this one is black inside but it's the exact same layout you have the logo on one side with the zip pocket and then the two slip pockets and again they zip all the way down so this one I would recommend if you're having some bright wallets and SLG so you can find them or maybe putting a um, an organizer in it in a lighter color so you can see what's going on but it's a really cute bag I think it's just very refreshing looking being in that kind of nautical stripe and it looks really cute with um, like white jeans or a pop of red in your outfit and then this one is great for fall really a beautiful color and like I said this one um, if you get the Rachel now from the site um, don't be alarmed or disappointed or think that this leather is too stiff and won't soften up that's not the case after you wear it for a few months it does get the sheen it will soften and it does become beautiful like the uh, fossil leather that we're used to Sorry, shaking the camera here so there you go two Rachel bags from fossil and I hope this helped if you're trying to decide if you want to get a Sydney or a Rachel I know they have a lot of different bags that are similar but uh, they do a little tweak usually to the handles and uh, call it by another name I'm not sure why they do that but there you go <laughs> so I hope this helped you to make a decision on if it's the bag for you they're wonderful little bags very lightweight both of them and they do pack a punch they carry a lot so I highly recommend either one of them and especially if you can get a good deal on them if you can get them on sale that's the way to go and they always do have sales <laughs> okay so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe until next time